Right, right now we're shining the spotlight on photographers. Now, when it comes to photography, and if you're in the line of photography, maybe uh, it could be an amateur, maybe a professional, you, know, you would know that sometimes your job can lead you to form incredible friendships, and those friendships could lead to form incredible creative projects as well. And this was the case with this man right here, John Armstrong, a professional wedding and portrait photographer from Cape Town, who met three DJs from the Masipumalele Township that resulted in an incredible project which we are talking about this morning. John, thank you very much for joining us. Um, very cool, man. So firstly, talk to us meeting these three DJs. How did you come about them in the Masipulimelele uh, township? Yeah, we um, actually I met them about three or four years ago. Okay. Um, we were actually covering different similar events. They were DJing at events that I used to cover. And we struck up a relationship and actually found out they live in Masi. I live in Fishhook. We're actually neighbors, but we live in two worlds apart. Yeah. So I always wanted to do a project with them because I was always fascinated, very talented young guys. Yeah. And I uh, wanted to do it a day in the life of, of, of these guys in their township. And I'm sure that must have been very, very interesting just to see how they operate and what they do exactly in, in terms of the lines of work as well. But Absolutely. talk to me about this project. I mean, what was the aim, the direction, and, and what was it all about then? Yeah, initially I started the project with the idea of doing a more reportage sort of style where wow. I'd go around and, and sort of just photograph uh, the guys in their natural environment. Um, but that seemed to that change a lot. As I got yeah. to know them, the whole concept of the shoot changed. And uh, yeah, I moved in a different direction from what I initially, initially wanted to do. Yeah, and I mean, looking at some of the photographs and the images, I mean, absolutely beautiful. And I'm sure you've also had a, a kind of a personal journey, you know, going through this, this project as well. What was it that really captivated you and, and, and drew you in, in even, even further? You know, in my work, I have quite, you know, quite big extremes. I mean, last week I was with Sir Richard Branson in Ulusaba, and now I'm wow. in Nasipo Malila yesterday. So, you know, the, the extremes, and what I love to, to, to experience in my work is these extreme differences. And, and I think initially, um, with my intention of the shoot changing, I landed up realizing that the people living in Masipumalele um, don't actually ex actually get these images back. A lot of photographers go into these areas, they do beautiful artwork, but they never give the photograph back to the people. So I changed yeah. it. I wanted to do portrait shoots for them. And each family, each person I shot, uh, as though I would for my client, actually got a big enlargement, a big print yeah. back. So yeah, it was an amazing experience. And I'm sure at the other end of it, it meant a lot for them as well. I mean, Absolutely. what do you think that they had seeing these photos, maybe mm. seeing themselves in a different light? Yeah, well, example, yesterday I gave a print to a family. I'd shot a young gentleman uh, a number of months ago. I came to the house, I met a family member, only to find out this gentleman had passed away between the time I'd photographed him and given the print. Yeah. Um, so I went into the home, I met mom, mom was in tears. Um, I was wow. really, it was really emotional. I felt bad that I was giving her a photograph of a son who had just passed away, but she was so right. grateful because they don't have many photographs of him. Exactly. So here they have an enlargement they can put up in the house. So. Yeah. Man, that is, that is absolutely amazing. I mean, look at that. That is beautiful. And also, like you said, you, you got to see a different side, uh, you know, of, uh, and the extremes in your work exactly. as that, well. That's what the best part is. So for you is. personally, I mean, the creative outcome of, of this project, I mean, what does this now mean to you in I terms mean, of your work? I mean, there's no financial benefit for me in that yeah. aspect. But from a creativity point of view, I, I pushed myself. Uh, I learned new cultures, new environments. And uh, it's amazing how people are actually very common, very similar in, in many ways. It's, yeah. There's not much difference between us. But yeah, I'm very grateful that they allowed me into their lives. I mean, this is people, this is very personal. I was in their homes. I was many, and it's amazing how much closer their community is than the community I come from. Everyone knows yeah. each other. It's a, yeah, That's it's amazing. amazing. John, thank you very, very much for yeah, sharing just your you. story. I think it is brilliant, brilliant. Just putting, putting their lives in a different light as well. And, and it's incredible to see how much these photographs mean to them, man. And yeah. thank you very much for your Great. contribution for as well, thank man. You. Can you believe it? A beautiful, beautiful project. Just showing the beautiful side to our country as well.